What happened exactly to Lord Sugar? Why was he talking about people fraudsters scamming on Airbnb? He was talking about his properties being used. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Absolutely nothing really happened. So basically, no one used Lord Sugar's house. No one stayed at Lord Sugar's house. Nothing happened. All they did was someone put up a phony advert on Airbnb and they scraped the estate agent's websites and happened to use a picture of Lord Sugar's house on the inside. So people are kind of freaking out thinking, oh my gosh, Lord Sugar said there's Airbnb scammers. Does that mean that rent to rent using service accommodation Airbnb is a scam if Lord Sugar said it? Did someone do it to Lord Sugar? No, no, no. The scam that happened is, is completely nothing like what legitimate rent to rent, rent to service accommodation properties are. What happened is someone advertised a property that didn't exist. It did exist, but it wasn't available for rent. They advertised it for rent and, and, and it didn't exist. Listen, that is not only is it completely illegal, not only is it fraud, but also you're never gonna make money doing that because what happens is Airbnb hold on to your money and then when the person comes and then when the person checks out, Airbnb release the funds. So if you miss sell a property and it doesn't exist and then the guests come and you waste their time and, and what's gonna happen is Airbnb are just gonna give a refund to the guests and you as the amazing fraudster are gonna fraud nobody out of anything apart from wasting people's time. I think Lord Sugar was just frustrated because his pictures of his property got used in the scam. But just for the record to be really clear, but no one was inside Lord Sugar's house Lord Sugar's not talking about rent to service accommodation. There's nothing wrong with renting out your property legitimately on Airbnb. There's nothing wrong with renting out someone else's house as long as you do it properly and then managing that property and renting it out on Airbnb. As long as you do it legally with the correct contracts, the correct insurances, that is not what Lord Sugar was talking about. So I hope that clears things up a little bit and whatever you're doing, I wish you a wonderful day. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you wanna watch me doing a rent to rent deal properly, then just watch this video right here. If you wanna watch and hear a story of Leah and Cheryl, who are making 14,000 pounds per month doing rent to service accommodation, hear the story right here. And if you'd like to just spend a couple of days learning how you can do the same at a live training program, then click on the link right here. Either way, please do subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.